Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Manzoor and you are watching Manzoor Tech YouTube channel. Uh, today we will talk about the Windows Security which is also called the Windows Defender. It's a built-in antivirus in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Although it's very good for our Windows to work properly and smoothly, but sometimes it blocks our software which is very important for us. Some files like for example when we are installing a game, when we are installing a software and we see a message like this again and again. So this is very frustrating and bothering us. There are two ways through which we can uh, block this antivirus. If we want to block this antivirus temporarily, we can do this from the Windows settings. But as soon as we restart our Windows, the antivirus will be enabled again. And if you have no need for the antivirus, you can block this uh, permanently from the Windows registry. In this video, I will explain both the methods in a simple way. Uh, so without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's disable the Windows Defender temporarily first. So we have to open settings, click here. And from here you can type settings. You can see settings here. Also you can press and hold the Windows key and press I button. So you can open this page easily. From here click on update and security. Now click on Windows security. Virus and threat protection. And scroll down so you can see manage settings under virus and threat protection settings click on this one and you see all of these modules they are enabled so if we disable from here any module you want you can disable all or you can disable one of them so the real-time protection can only be uh, turned off until you restart your computer you cannot disable it permanently from here if I restart my machine, I will see this option uh, as enabled again and all of these uh, remaining options uh, will remain uh, disabled. They can only be enabled when you enable them. But this one you cannot uh, disable from here permanently. So this was easy if you need it temporarily, you can do it from here. Uh, now let's see how we can disable the Windows Defender uh, permanently. Uh, you have to go to the registry editor. Open run dialog box by pressing Windows key and R. Type here as regedit Click OK uh, This is the Windows registry Now you have to click on H key local machine which is in the center Now click on software Search for policies, so you can see policies here. Expand and here is Microsoft. Uh, expand this Microsoft folder and uh, from the name it is very clear Windows Defender. So click on this one. Now right click here, click on new and create here D word 32 bit value. This one D word 32 bit value and name this exactly the way I am doing so disable anti spyware uh, make sure the spelling must be the same with capital and small letters now double click this value and by default this is 0 0 means off so we have to turn it on type 1 here and save uh, guys, I will copy this link from here. So you have to just copy it and paste it here in the registry. Uh, so you'll immediately reach this page and you don't have to open and expand uh, these folders. Let me copy this and I will uh, paste it in the description. So you can copy from there and paste it in this bar to reach this page immediately. Now let us go to the settings again and see the Windows Defender. So we open settings. And update and security windows security virus and threat protection uh, now you see guys a message here the virus and threat protection is managed by your organizations as we made changes to the registry the changes have taken effect immediately if there is some problem you can restart your system guys make sure these changes will take effect after you restart your computer 
now if you want to enable the windows defender again so you have to uh, go to the registry again now let's open the windows registry now to save the time i have already copied the link so paste it here and you see guys in one click i'm here double click this string and I change this value to zero zero means disabled so click ok now let's open the windows settings again from here click on update and security windows security now it's opened before it was disabled so click on virus and threat protection from here the scroll down and click on manage settings and you see guys the virus threat protection has been enabled and all the remaining options are still uh, disabled we have to enable them manually hope so guys this video was helpful uh, please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you